Well, hello there, everybody. It's Agent, and uh, today we have in front of us a MP11NR Ramjet, which just so happens to be an actual Takara figure. Um, I don't get very many of these just because I'm cheap. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm cheap when it comes to this stuff. Um, but BBTS or Big Bad Toy Store was having a sale on these because they had a bunch of them with defective shoulders which you can't tell in robot mode but when you get them to jet things just don't line up. Uh, I did do some looking around and there is actually a fix for this. I found one, um, one of them on YouTube and I'm going to make another one for you guys before I even do a review on him. So as you can see in the background I have his box, we'll get into that later. We also have the instructions which we will get into later. This video is more or less about getting his shoulders fixed. Um, so that any of you that took Big Bad Toy Store up on this offer um, will know how to do it and be able to do it so you get you definitely get your money's worth out of this guy. Um, so to begin, uh, what we want to do is uh, we got to start taking them apart. So the first thing up is we will actually just kind of bring that up so we can access the screws that are in here. Let's just kind of get this all out of here. So we can get to these couple of screws. And come on. I'm sure there's a lot easier ways to do this. I should have had it all set up, but I did not. Okay. So there are two screws here and here. And we are just going to remove said screws. Come on. So there's one and there is two which went lower. So that basically just removes the whole fuse silage section and there's the other screw. So we're just going to step those off to the side and just because I feel like doing this we are going to flip that around, rotate that, get that where it belongs and just kind of get this all the way it's supposed to be like so. And there we go. So. That is everything that comes off from that. So, all right, setting that off to the side. And then from there, we will just, let's just get these back down to where they were, just to make things a little bit easier and open stuff up. Come on. Ugh, I always have a issue with that section on these these jets. So all right, next thing we want to do is we want to kind of get these arms off because what we want is to get access to the pins here and here, and we want to have the arms off as well because the piece we actually want to remove is right here. So to do that, we need to come to the back of the arm. And right there, there is a panel, which let's see if we can get that off. It's got a screw in there. And it's just, it's, it's a pain in the butt to get to. You can even, it was kind of a pain for the other guy too. Um, here, hold on one sec. All right, so wasn't easy. <laughs> um, this one wasn't easy. So you basically get underneath there and then it, it, it pulls off 
Um, and there's a peg and a pin that goes in there. I, must, I, I was a little rough on mine and one of the pegs snapped. Um, but then I came to this one and I popped this one off too. And as you can see, it's got the one peg focus. There, it's got this little bit right here. And then it's got an actual peg right there. So I'll pull those off to the sides and put them there. And then there's another screw right here. So we'll take that out. And basically we're just making room, room to work. There we go, there's that screw. And then what we can do from there is we just separate the arm top of the arm so we can get it off of there and we will be gentle with it come on I don't quite have the fingernails I think that I should have to do this because I cut mine super short there we go so just kind of like that separate it up and we're gonna push it back together so we know that they go together like so and we'll put that there and that there okay and we'll do the other arm so we'll just come in here take this screw out and then we'll come in and we'll take the arm Separate the arm like so, and just push it back together so that we know they go together like that. Then we'll put the screw right over there. All right, so we have this all opened up now. Like I was saying, this pin here and this pin here are the ones we want to get out and when you push those out you want to push them out in the way that they went in um, so in this case they went in from the inside and then out so the video i saw they had they had a set of pliers or channel locks and they were just slowly working things out um, I actually have this, which is for working on, um, it, it's for working on watches, and it's for getting the pins out. And if I figured it would be enough space, and it's small enough, that that goes in there, and then it's got, it's got this open sh area right here, so the pin, when it starts coming out, can just go right out through there and then I don't have to worry about using channel locks and as you can see I just slowly tighten it and the pin is actually slowly moving out I don't know if you can see that see right there the pin is coming out and I'm just being very gentle but yeah so this bit is smaller than that hole right there so yeah she's working out nice just gotta make sure you get it in there and you get this lined up because you don't want the pin to get blocked otherwise you'll be tightened down for no reason and it kind of really keeps things from um, getting all out of whack now it looks like it's kind of getting out of whack a little bit so I'll just adjust it and let's just see what we got going on Oh, yep, so the pin was actually getting kind of stuck on that, so I might want to open that up, but it's actually loose enough I can pull it out now. Um, so we got the pin out, and it just slides right out. So it did the perfect amount of pressure without doing any damage to the rest of the body. All right, so with that being said, this can all just slide off like so. And then we will take that piece off because that is the piece that is backwards. <laughs> that piece there. All right? Okay. 
So we'll put that over there for that side, and we'll put that there for that side. And then we're just going to repeat the process on this side here. This other side, let me move the camera up a little. So we're going to line that up and tighten it down, making sure that I stay over the, the pin itself. Let's see, line that up, line that up. I just have to tighten it down. There, I'm right on, right on the pin and I'll just slowly tighten, tighten that down. And I, can't, I got off of there. So we'll do it again. Now, I, I guess I kind of like doing it this way because I don't have to worry about the channel locks and the channel locks actually um, damaging anything else. And right now I'm basically just slowly, very slowly, making sure that my little pin that I'm pushing with is actually like pushing in the right spot because I don't want to damage the actual plastic. And let me get a... Granted the channel locks probably seem a little bit like they might work a little bit better on this one. The other one was recessed just enough so maybe if I just go ahead and, there, now it's starting, now it's starting. And it doesn't take much, I mean it's, really you're just kind of pushing the one pin out just till the anchors are, are out of the way. I think that did it. Unless they... Well, it looks like they might have pushed the pin in from the other direction this, this way. Because... Yeah, I'm thinking they put the, I think they put this pin in backwards from what the other one was. Let me see. And yep, so on mine they put the other pin in the opposite direction. <laughs> so I have to go this direction, which was why the other way was a little bit harder. But of course because this one goes this direction, it still makes it a little bit more difficult with this particular tool because of the way that the shoulder is actually on there. So let's just see if I can get the last little, little bit to get it out. And that should have done it. And it did not do it, it's just a little bit more. Which I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different because of the way it is. And believe it or not, I have more fun gadgets to do this with. I just have to get them out. Okay, so we have that. And we're going to go like this. Get that up there. And we're just going to knock the pin out. So 
middle. And there we go. That's a little bit more. Yep, that one did it. Need a hammer. So, there. Pin is out. That one goes to that side. So, we will have to remember that. All right. So, back up to here. So, like we were saying, come on, get on the way. So, this all comes off. Like so. And this comes off and it will slide over to this side. Right? See? And then this one will slide over to here. Like that. And then this one will fit on there the way it's supposed to. See? Now it's just a matter of putting things back together. So we'll take this, we'll slide this back on, and we'll get that pinhole lined up there, and we will not show you. <laughs> so this right here, there's that pin, and that goes right into there. Okay, and then we get this piece put that on, and then we take the pin and we put it back in the way it came out, like so. Now as you can see, since we already pulled it out, it's going in a lot nicer than it came and went, came out. So uh, actually I think what I need is just a little, I will need a little bit of a pliers. just to get it in there and get it flush. So I'm just going to use these because they're flat. And there you go. Just like that, it's it's in. And I'll do the other side. So we pull this piece out, slide that back down and on. Slide that on. And this one came out through the back to the inside so we'll put this pin back in through there and tighten that down and I can't do it enough with just my fingers so alright probably didn't even see any of that Yes, yeah, so basically I just went like that and then tighten it down, but my fingers couldn't do enough, so. So I guess I will need to use the regular pliers and we'll just kind of push it in, get it a little, a little tighter. There, and I'm just very gently, just very gently squeezing that in there. There. See? Went right in. And I just want to make sure that one's flush. There. There we go. So with that being done, the shoulders are uh, technically fixed at this point. So we can just put the arms back on. So, we'll go like this, just rotate this up, because that's the way it came off. So, we'll just pull that back apart. Make sure everything lines up alright. 
So that goes into there like that. Oh boy. It wants to be like that. And I don't really have a very good angle on this with the camera. When I work on these things, I don't normally do it on camera. So for me, this is kind of a new thing. So, all right, get that in there. That's lined up. Get this piece on. And we'll take this piece and that goes on right there. Push it down. Which, of course, I didn't do it on camera. It's very horribly done. And I'm very sorry about that. But then we'll get the screw, put the screw back in. Now when it comes to putting these things in, I always go back a couple before I go back in. Because it seems to set it proper. Just give it a little, little twist. And just to double check things. It seems to be working all right. Then we'll do the other arm, which might actually work out better to be seen because it's more on the side that you can see it. All right, so we'll take the other arm and then we'll put that in there like that. That's how it goes. Make sure that doesn't come out. Take this back piece, make sure it lines up the way it's supposed to on there like so grab the screw it works a lot better when you have a magnetic screw or a magnetic screwdriver so that goes out a couple of screws and then right in Give it a little, because you don't want to do that too tight, otherwise it might not work proper and you definitely don't want to strip it out. And you got your little caps, so that slides in there. And then the pin goes right in. And on this one, it uh, slides in and then pins in and ready to rock and roll. All right, and then from there, you just get these back up, get these back up, so they get out of the way. And then you take the whole fuselage section and bring that back in. You just kinda set that in there like so. And then you get the screws put in for that. And I'm just going to tilt this back so that they don't do what they just did. And that one was just me being butterfingers. All right. Get that in there. I really wish I had a magnetic screwdriver because then I wouldn't be having this issue. Anybody wants to get me a Christmas present for next year? I got a screwdriver in case I ever do this again. All right, so that one's in, and we'll get this one in. Back out just a little bit, and then back in. It goes right in, like so. All right, so then what we'll do is we'll get this back around, get this back around, and then we'll just double check to make sure that we didn't over tighten it. So we can slide things back and forth. Which I'm gonna say we quite possibly did. Well, come on, work with us here.
Seems to be working all right. And there we go. So, with that being done, let us go ahead and get this all back out. Get that up. Get this down and through. Uh, how do you want to go in there? Yeah, you're going to be like that to me. Come on. Oh, that's because I'm stuck on that. There we go. There we go. Or not. Back to where we started. Only this time he's got properly fixed shoulders. Just the way they're supposed to be. So now when we actually transform him everything will line up and match just right. Which means we can now make the video on him. Oh, that <laughs> I'm just going to stop touching him now. I'm just going to stop. So I say I'm going to stop, but then I'm going to keep going. Because <laughs> I think I I got something right here. Come on. There we go. <laughs> there. I had a piece that wasn't where it was supposed to be, and it was causing, causing it to get stuck. <laughs> All right. Anywho, there we go. So now his shoulders are fixed. He is the way he's supposed to be. And he's like brand new, only without defective shoulders. So next video will definitely be just him getting um, reviewed. All right, until next time.